Good morning. Dr. Young, we, we haven't met before, have we? It's no, that's Becky right. Brown, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's right. Hello. Hello. Um, what can I do for you this morning? Well, um, I'm really sorry to bother you, actually. I don't normally like coming to the doctor for, well, anything really. But um, two days ago, I woke up with a really sore throat. It was more yeah. sore on the left mm -hmm. than the right, but it's sort of spread now. Um, yeah. And actually, by the evening, I was feeling really unwell. Oh I had a temperature. I yeah. uh, couldn't really eat or swallow anything. Yeah. Um, so I took some paracetamol. Um, my partner went and got me something to gargle with mm. from the chemist. That hasn't helped. Um, yesterday, I woke up feeling just the same, actually. Um, yeah. And I, I just feel really ill. Oh, my partner had a look in my throat and said it was yellow. It had Ooh, yellow right. spots. And yes. he says, my breath smells. Oh, dear. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. why I've come to see you. And it I sounds like you're feeling pretty poorly with it. I, I feel really shivery and yeah, achy and yeah. horrible. Okay. Had you had any thoughts as to what was going on there? Um, well, uh, when I was a kid, I used to get tonsillitis, but I, I outgrew that when I was about mm -hmm. ten, I think. I haven't yeah. had it for years. So. But you had quite a lot of tonsillitis as a youngster. I did before. actually have it quite. Yeah. Oh, every winter, I got, mm -hmm. I got a good bout of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And was there anything particular that concerned you about what was going on? Well, I, I don't really like the idea of having to go, I mean, you know, if when, when I used to get tonsillitis, they used to say that, it, you know, if I didn't outgrow it by a certain mm. time, I'd have to have my tonsils drained or oh something. Dear. And yes, yes. I just don't like the sound of that it doesn't, I don't like the sound of that either, <laughs> no. Um, and um, when you decided to come and see me about this this morning, what, what were you hoping I might be able to say or do about the situation? Well, I was hoping you'd make me feel better. Maybe you could give me something. I mean, it... it find yeah. out what it is and then yeah. perhaps I could get something. So if something. there's some treatment that we could offer you, you'd be well, interested in Well, better than that. paracetamol because yes, it hasn't sure. helped yet. Okay. Um, uh, just a few sort of background questions. So yeah. You're fitting well normally, aren't you? And, yes, and your I records know. indicate you don't come very often. No, I try not to. You're not taking any medicines at all? No, nothing. No, good. No. Okay. Well, I think what we need to do at this point is for me to examine you and just see what's going on in your throat. Okay. Um, and check a few things out, right. uh, and then we can talk about what, what I think is going on and, and hopefully organise some treatment for you. Great. Is that okay? Okay, thanks, okay. yes. Now, what I'd like to do is just have a little look in your mouth. So I'd like to get you to open really, really wide. Okay, I see exactly what your partner meant. Yeah, that doesn't look very really healthy at all down really? there. Oh. Okay, and now I'd just like to have a little feel Don't around your neck and your glands there. Oh, oh that's it's quite, quite tender, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, mm. they're very swollen. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right, well... You, you mentioned having had a lot of tonsillitis as a youngster, and I'm guessing that you thought perhaps it was the same sort of thing again well, this maybe, time round. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. it certainly does look like tonsillitis. Oh dear, right. Um, now, we've got a number of treatment options. I mean, we, we can just sort of wait and see because a proportion of sore throats like this do actually turn out to be just viral and they sort themselves out in their own good time. Right. But my own judgment would be that actually your throat is probably got a bacterial infection in there and you'd probably benefit from some antibiotics. And oh really? Okay. When you had antibiotics in the past, well I'm presuming you had antibiotics in the past for your yeah. tonsillitis, did that always seem to help in the past? I think so, I used to get that, you know, on a spoon as a yes, child, you just yeah. get something in a bottle, don't you, and mm. it always tastes horrid and then I'd get better. <laughs> yes. But, well mm. I guess you've grown out of having medicine on the spoon now and would probably. capsules be okay? Yeah. Yes, okay. Um, so, I mean, unless you want to wait and see whether this will clear up. To be honest, up, I feel quite rough. Quite, I don't think yeah. I do actually want to wait much longer. I've no. had two quite bad days now. Then I think the way to go with this is for us to prescribe you some antibiotics. Okay. And if the paracetamol that you've been taking is not really strong enough, we could also sort out some stronger painkillers for oh, you. Oh, really? Yeah. That? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I think that would be best. Would it be helpful to know about some sort of non-medical things that you can do that will, would oh, help yeah. the situation uh -huh. as well? Mm -hmm. um, it's quite important to drink as much as you can. Often right. in these situations, people don't feel like eating. And if you don't eat mm. for a day or two, it doesn't matter too much. Mm. But if you get dry, if you get dehydrated, mm. then that is one of the things that can unfortunately put people in hospital with tonsillitis. Oh, so right. try and drink as much as you possibly can. And Hot so drinks really hurt. Yeah, so yeah, just I just stick with cool fluids. Or sometimes sucking an ice cube is an old trick that, oh, that right. helps <laughs> out. Yeah. Um, as far as, mm. you know, you mentioned going to hospital and tonsils mm. out and all the rest of it. Um, for a one-off bout of tonsillitis like this, mm. we probably wouldn't be thinking in terms of sending you to hospital, unless things got really difficult for us uh, to manage and the antibiotics wouldn't, weren't working, mm. which is unusual. I mean, that mm. doesn't often happen at all. Do you need your tonsils out? No, I don't think so. Not for a one-off bout uh, as an adult. Right. You know, if, if okay. you had a lot of bouts as a child and you came through mm. that, then again, my judgment would be that hopefully this is just a blip and things will settle down. Okay, great. So 
I'll write you a prescription, yes. and uh, we'll put some painkillers on there okay. as well. Oh, thank you. Okay. And um, what I'd say is go away and take the antibiotics, take the painkillers, make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, right. and do let me know if things are not improving after 24 hours or so. Really? But I'd hope okay. by then you'd be feeling a lot better. How long will I have to take the antibiotics, do you think? We'd normally give you a five-day course, and that's right. usually sufficient to sort okay. most people out. Okay. But again, if things don't settle down, then we, we can always have another think about that. Fine. Thank you very much, then. Okay. okay.